guys what is up welcome back to another video and this one will be our last one until ninja and knight come out so here's the scout video for dual blades and rifle so without further ado let's get started all right like always we're going to start with our basic combo string one two three each basic attack does multiple hits so it's pretty much like cleric's brawler each time you click once, it will hit twice. So, yeah, do keep that in mind that you cannot roll out of these if these attacks are in play. Like this, like, I'm attacking? I can't roll out of it until the full attack animation is done. So let's talk about our basics a little bit. Part of our basic is called Slice, and Slice lets out two attacks and restores 130 SP. The next part of our basic is called Reversal Slice. Reversal Slice also comes with a buff that increases your movement speed by 30% and greatly increases your attack speed for eight seconds. And not only that, this attack restores 130 SP. The last part of our basic is called Twisting Slice. Twisting Slice resets the cooldown for death from above. Why? Also adding a buff that increases your attack for 20% and this lasts for 10 seconds. Not only that, it restores 130 SP. Our next skill is called Death from Above which allows you to warp to your target and deliver a slash. But I don't have a target so it won't allow me to do anything. So I will showcase it and tell you the rest of what it does. Not only does Death From Above allow you to warp to your target, it also gives you temporary immunity to being rooted or being stunned. This skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds you can use it again. I can't use it again because, you know, I don't have a target. So, yeah. Our next skill is called Swift Strike. Swift Strike deals 129% of physical damage every second for 6 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Our next skill is called Piercing Lunge. You can use this twice within the 2 second mark. But afterwards, if you miss the 2 second mark, it will not go off again. This skill does not have any debuffs or buffs. So let's see how many times you can do it in a row. The maximum is twice. You can dash back and forth between your enemies. This can also be used for dodging as well and getting to the other side of your opponent. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. <laughs> Alright guys, our next skill is called Blade Storm. Blade Storm decreases your target's defense by 3% and deals 80% damage over time for every second. And this lasts for 5 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Our next skill is called Blazing Shockwave. <laughs> Blazing Shockwave sends out three projectiles, which is not affected by super armor and deals fire damage. This skill goes on cooldown for six seconds. After six seconds, you can use it again. <laughs> next skill is a party buff, and that party buff is called Winner's Resolve. <laughs> Winner's Resolve adds 10% to your crit rate, to our all surrounding allies that are within your party and this lasts for 180 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds you can use it again. Hey. Our final skill for the dual blades is called Rotary Slice. <laughs> Rotary Slice does not have any debuffs or buffs. It's just a normal skill. It goes on cooldown for 11.5 seconds. After 11.5 seconds you can use it again. Guys, I hope that part of the video helped you guys out and get interested and scout a little bit more. 
So now we're going to go on to the Rifleman. So Rifleman's pretty much the rifle user and you unlock it at level 20 of Scout and I need a target so I'm going to go to my testing field where my new testing dummy is. So I'll see you guys there. Let's go. Alright, it took me longer than I expected to find an actual good spot but I found a dungeon to go in. It's probably going to take me a few shots to kill it, but hell. As long as it gets me through my basics without the enemy dying, it's all good. So, here's our basics. One, two, three. So, with that done, let's talk a little bit about our basics and what they do. Alright, the first part of our basic is called Shot. Shot does not have any buffs or debuffs. Our second part of our basic is called Triple Shot. Triple Shot has a debuff that decreases the enemy's movement speed by 50%. And that also lasts for 10 seconds. Up for the third part of our basic, which is called Reloading Shot. One, two, three. Now, Reloading Shot resets the cooldown for the skill Marking Shot, and it also gives a buff, increasing your damage by 30% for 6 seconds. Alright guys, we're finally getting into our actual skills. Our first skill is called Marking Shot. Marking Shot increases the damage taken by 5 to your enemies, so they're going to be stacking and taking more damage. This sacks three times onto an enemy, and if it crits, it gets an instant cooldown. This skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, you can use it again. Our next skill is called Plasma Touch. Plasma Touch is just a normal skill that has no buffs or debuffs. This skill is just a normal skill and it goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Hey. Our next skill is... Um, this Dragomon is frozen. Oh well, I'm going to have to kill it since it doesn't seem to be functioning anymore. So, <laughs> our next skill is called Missile Barrage. Missile Barrage gives you a reticle. Similar to uh, mages. So let's put it down and it is a charging skill and you can move while it's casting. Oh look, he's alive. But also dead because it does damage over time. And that damage is 72% for every second. And it lasts for 4 seconds duration. And this skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, you can use it again. What? Don't look at me. It was your fault. You ran into it. Our next skill is called Sapping Savo. Sapping Savo decreases the target's defense by 5%. And that lasts for 5 seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Now it's time for my most favorite skill out of the Riflemans. It's called Bombshell Blast. Bombshell Blast deals fire damage. As you can see, it sends out a roll of flames that can do multiple damage depending on what range they are between these. So this skill goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. After 6 seconds you can use it again. Alright, our next skill is a party buff and it's called Killer's Instinct. Killer's Instinct adds 5% crit rate and crit damage to you and your surrounding allies that are within your party and this skill lasts for 180 seconds. The skill goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you can use it again. <laughs> and our last skill is called Rapid Fire. 
which we used on our little friend here, Abyssal Crab. Alright, this skill is a continuous hit. You have to hold down your button for it to continue shooting. Alright, let's see. As you can see, it continues to shoot as I hold it down, but it depletes my SP. So that is quite the problem. But I did get him down to half HP. So, this skill goes on cooldown for 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, you can use it again. And there we go. Guys, what's up? I hope these videos helped you guys out to figure out what classes you want to use. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, this will probably be the last one into Ninja or Knight. But, if you guys need help with anything else and want me to make a tutorial on it, I will be more than happy to. I will try and figure it out myself and I will share it with you guys. So if you need anything, just let me know and I'll try and get to it as fast as I can or whenever I can get to it because I am quite busy sometimes. But I can say Scout is definitely a good class. A very evasive and very high damage and a really good DPS character if you're looking for something that has good survivability but then again, it's still low P HP and still low defense, but not as low as mages. And they're quite good at PvP. Thanks for coming. Thanks for viewing my videos. And I hope they helped you out. You guys cannot see me. We'll end it off like this without you seeing my character's face. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Time for me to get to some actual games as well. So, peace.